Hello, it's How To Not To and today I will be unboxing my Virgin Broadband Media Kit. So let's unleash the entertainment. The download speed on my previous broadband provider was starting to get really slow. So I decided to change to Virgin because it's a lot faster and they had a really good deal on at the time. Um, I think it was... Um, just under £30 for fibre broadband with the free um, weekend calls um, and that was on a 12 month contract uh, which was a lot better than what I was currently on. It is worth shopping around to get a better deal especially when the contract terms come to an end. Um, yeah, welcome to your new Virgin broadband kit. Okay, let's see what we have. I didn't have to stay in and wait for this package to arrive. Yeah, they had an option where you can collect at your nearest store, which was very convenient. I didn't have to sit around waiting for it to arrive. So in here we have the power supply. And here's the rest of it. Um, so you would connect, so you would need to connect them both together. What else do we have? Um, we have the phone cable wire and down here we also have a phone adapter which feels very flimsy. Not sure how long this is going to last but um, yeah it could easily break. They don't make them like they used to. Um, so the adapter would be used if you can't remove the cable from your phone so that will come in handy for that. Um, and this is the new hub. Uh, let me just get it out of the packaging. Okay, um, I can already tell it's very light. Okay, not sure what this is, um, to keep it fresh maybe. <laughs> so on the back of the hub you um, have all the usual port connectors uh, and I'm hoping it's going to be easy to set up. I already have all the plug sockets um, already installed. Um, I used to be a Virgin customer a while back and um, have all the cables and sockets etc. So for me it should be pretty straightforward to install everything without calling out an engineer. But obviously if you haven't got the cables and the sockets installed you would need to obviously call out an engineer to get that all installed for you before you go any further with this video <laughs> before you do anything else so um, I'm assuming that everything's been installed so next let's move on okay so down here you have an on off button down here um, and so you have this metal bit sticking out here and I think what goes in there is the isolator cable which hopefully should be provided with the kit. Further up we have a reset hole and you also have um, the four ports along there and right at the top is where the phone cable goes. Right, this tells you how to set up your phone with all the uh, features etc and there is something in here about fibre, about your fibre about my fibre package, um, which is the broadband fibre with up to um, 180 Mbps download speed. I've never had any problems with the speed dropping with Virgin. It's all it always runs smoothly. Um, yeah, so after the 12 month contract is up, uh, that's it. It goes up to 50 pounds, I think, for the same package. So I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. Um, here we have the installation guide and this tells you how to set everything up. So it just goes into more details in there. Um, and I will be showing you how to set up the box, the hub, in my next video. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to be notified on that. So... Um, please look out for that video if you need to know if you need to know how to set up your virgin broadband <laughs> okay underneath here we have a few more cables um, 
The kit comes with this isolator cable, as I mentioned before, that just slots into your wall socket and the other end um, goes into your hub. Not sure what this is used for. Please leave a comment down below if you know what, know what this tool is used for. Finally, we have the Ethernet cable to connect directly to the internet. If you have problems connecting to the Wi-Fi, fingers crossed, I will never need to use this. <laughs> okay, that's everything that comes with your Virgin kit. Um, and um, you also get these stickers containing your network and name uh, and password. On the reverse, so you can just stick them anywhere you want. The um, the net connection details are also on the base of your new hub, and also hidden here on the removable card that slots in there. So there we, have. there it is. Okay, just a quick comparison between the old hub and my new one is it. It's uh, a lot lighter and it has mesh looking plastic on the side of the um, hub which I'm not overly thrilled about. It feels very flimsy as well, not um, as durable as the, the one I had before and you'll find that with every case. Every time uh, I get a new hub I notice the quality isn't as good as the previous hub. Let's hope the speed is uh, faster. I had 50 Mbps previously and now um, I've got an average speed of um, 108 Mbps. The dimensions are 6 by 9 inches if you need to, needed to know that. So it's nice and compact so you should be able to fit anywhere on your desk, on your desktop or wherever, whatever you need to set it up. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.